Hi there, we're talking Los Angeles Dodgers injuries with the awesome Stefania Bell. We'll start with the awesome Clayton Kershaw, who's missed a long time here with a back injury, but he's coming back on Tuesday, a two-start week. He says he's healthy. Is he healthy? Oh, he's healthy. Uh, this is a guy who's wanted to pitch really since the first game in the United States. Remember, they put him on the DL after the trip to Australia. Kershaw didn't want to go. This was his first trip. But the Dodgers being very wise, this was a proactive move to ensure that the Terry's major issue, muscle in the back that does contribute to your throwing motion, didn't turn into something that affected his rotator cuff or something that would be problematic down the line. And I think, Eric, what's really important is that they've built him up slowly and they kept him for an extra rehab start to make sure he could go into deeper innings, throw enough pitches that he could feel confident he could come right out and go deep into a game. Top five starting pitcher in fantasy. Get him in your teams, trade for him, do what it takes. Now, another lefty in the rotation, Hyun Jin Ryu is on the disabled list with shoulder inflammation. This didn't seem like a big deal, and he's pitching really well. Is it a big deal? Apparently, it's not a big deal. It, it didn't seem like a big deal until they placed him on the DL, and then we started getting a little concerned. But that was because Soreness, after his last start, hung around for a few days. And again, the Dodgers being smart here, making him rest on the DL. He did consult with the team physician, Dr. Neil Elitrash, and no MRI needed. Uh, subtle inflammation in the shoulder. And guess what, Eric? Cleared to resume throwing Tuesday. So it looks like this could be very short uh, DL track. Back to back in about a week and put him right back into your lineups there. And finally, there's Yasiel Puig. Every day is a story with this guy, right? Uh, <laughs> runs into a wall in Miami, and that could be a problem. He did not play on Monday. What's the update on him? The walls always win. And you can never accuse him of not playing all out. It was almost a spectacular catch, but concerns about potential injuries to his leg, to his shoulder, and the most concerning to his head. Now, Puig did pass initial concussion tests. You always take them right after the injury, but he also passed subsequent tests on Monday. However, as you typically do following an injury like this, they returned him to exertion, light cardiovascular work on the bike, and he developed a headache. So even if your concussion tests come back positive, but you have some sort of reaction to cardiovascular work, they're going to keep you out. Dodgers did not even let him take batting practice on Monday because they wanted him to stay quiet. We'll see what happens. This is a day-to-day -day situation. It seems a stretch to expect this guy to play in 140 games, the way he plays the game. <laughs> But he could still be a, a dynamic player, 20 homers, 300 batting average. So. And he always looks like it's going to be a terrible injury. But so far, remember the slide, uh, head first slide with the thumb. And it turned out that he's the only guy who hasn't ended up on the DL or in surgery this year after that type of injury. And now the wall collision. I would take Puig over Matt Camp if you're having to choose. <laughs> anyway, good news for the Dodgers, it seems. Thanks to Stefania Bell. For her, I'm Eric. Have a good day.